Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. In this, we are going to learn about the epiphysis, types of epiphysis and their importance. So, what are epiphysis? Epiphysis are the two ends of the bones. Okay, these ends of the bones which ossify from the secondary ossification centers are called as epiphysis. We have different types of epiphysis which are formed due to um, different reasons. Okay. The first type of epiphysis is pressure epiphysis. The pressure epiphysis is, it is actually intracapsular or it is articular. This pressure epiphysis will help in transmission of weight of the body. See, head of the femur or humerus and condyles of the femur, humerus and tibia are the examples of pressure epiphysis. These are the long bones, right? So, these will help in the transmission of weight and they are intracapsular. Okay. These are, this is pressure epiphysis. We also have traction epiphysis. This traction epiphysis is not in the articular surface, right? See, this is the uh, femur, right? So, in the femur, this is the head of the femur and this head of the femur is involved in the articulation. And this is articulation with the hip bone. And this head of femur is pressure epiphysis. But traction epiphysis is greater trochanter of femur or lesser trochanter of femur. And also greater and lesser tubercles of humerus and also the mastoid process. Okay. See all these bones are not, all these epiphysis are not involved in articulation. They are non-articular or they are extracapsular, extracapsular, non-articular. They provide attachment. What does these do? They provide attachment to the tendons. And because they provide attachment to the tendons, they exert a traction on the epiphysis resulting in traction epiphysis. Okay. They ossify late when compared to pressure epiphysis. Right? Then the third type of epiphysis which is available is called as atavistic epiphysis. Atavistic epiphysis is phylogenetically, it is an independent bone. Atavistic epiphysis is independent bone phylogenetically. But in man, this is fused with the pre-existing bone. But in man, it is fused. So, example of this is coracoid process is an atavistic epiphysis. Coracoid process of scapula, sometimes os trigonum or posterior tubercle of talus is also called as atavistic epiphysis. Okay, this is also uh, given as ata at atavistic epiphysis. Then we also have one more which is called as aberrant epiphysis. The third type, fourth type is aberrant epiphysis. This aberrant epiphysis is not always present. It might be present or it may not be present. But it is not always present. This aberrant epiphysis is, example is the epiphysis which is present at the head of first metacarpal or base of other metacarpals. Okay, these are not always present. So, these are the different types of epiphysis which are present. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.